My name is Patrick Barr. I'm the director in the Northern Ireland Audit Office, and I led the production of this overview report. I'd just like to outline some of the key messages of the report. So COVID-19 has had a major impact on our daily lives and the normal functioning of society. It has created significant challenges and required an unprecedented response by government. The role of this office is to ensure that taxpayers' money is properly spent. And in this context, this initial overview report attempts to establish the known cost to date of the initiatives to address the COVID-19 impact in Northern Ireland. The report brings together all the departmental initiatives and where possible, includes the cost of national schemes. The total estimated cost of the COVID impact on Northern Ireland is in excess of two billion pounds. This two billion does not include the cost of the furlough scheme in Northern Ireland, as this is not yet available. When known, however, this will increase the total estimated cost materially. Nor does it include the cost of the more recent Eat Out to Help Out scheme, as the cost of this for Northern Ireland is yet to be established. The two billion estimated cost has two main elements. The first is the 1.74 billion anticipated by Northern Ireland departments to be the cost of their current initiatives. You can see from figure one that Department of Health and Department for Economy are the two largest spending departments. The other element of the two billion, approximately 465 million, is the estimated cost of the other national schemes. So for example, the self-employed scheme or the increase in social security costs. As disruption continues and more initiatives are launched to deal with it, the estimated cost will continue to increase. As this happens, we will revisit this report and update it to provide a clearer picture of the emerging cost. While this overview report does not contain any value for money assessments, we have plans to look at a number of specific areas, including the supply of PPE in Northern Ireland, the impact of COVID-19 on vulnerable groups, and the impact of COVID-19 on public sector income. We will undertake this work and continue to update our estimate of the total cost in the coming months.